So it's a multi-day sportive based in the mountains of Europe, either the Alps, Pyrenees, Dolomites, or in 2017, the Rockies in America as well. Really an event which brings people together, it pushes your limits. Jagged vertical cliffs above you and the, the lush green valleys and just made you want to get out and, and ride your bike. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable experience. Being there, it's just having no other focus and no other thought in your head apart from, apart from riding those climbs, apart from getting to the finish. Well, when you've signed up to the event, it gives you this great focus for the rest of the year. A, a reason to get out there on the cold mornings, on a Saturday, on a Sunday morning, to have this goal at the end, and then to work towards it throughout the entire year. And then you get there and you achieve it and you just feel great. The first time I rode the Hope Route, I prepared by probably upping my training by 30 or 40%. I suppose I started cycling Saturday and Sunday when I could. Obviously, most of us have got normal jobs. We, you know, we're not professional cyclists. And then I suppose from about Easter time onwards, that's when you really know that, hey, you've got this big thing coming up. But actually, the hard part is making the commitment. It's easy to say, oh, I might go and do it, or I should, or I could do that. I could do that easy. You've sort of signed on the dotted line. You've said to yourself, you've made that personal uh, commitment to yourself. That's when things start to fall into place. That's when you really have to have your focus. You just feel this buzz inside. It's like you, every time you're going out on the bike at the weekend, it might be miserable weather in the winter, but you're there, it's for a reason, it's for a purpose. You definitely need a good level of fitness to go, to go riding in the mountains. To be climbing for two hours is, is a big effort and you may be doing multiple coals in one day and that, that fatigue builds up. An amateur cyclist doesn't really experience when they're riding around the roads at home. You, you'll have to prepare yourself for it. And the way to do that is, is to spend lots of time on the bike. So get your body used to riding for four or five, maybe even six hours. There's always a fear in everybody that you're not going to make it, that you're not going to be good enough. This event is achievable by anybody and it really is 80% mental. Find someone who's done it before, have a little chat to them and reassure yourself that despite this being the highest and the toughest sportive out there, it's completely achievable if you put your mind to it. Being a part of a group of other people who are entering it as well, to have a bit of that team spirit, to have a bit of that camaraderie when you know there are other people who are going through the same thing and then you can focus on getting up to meeting up together on the weekends and saying, right, okay, we're gonna do 100 k today, guys. Never been one for just let's just cram it in in the last month. I'm just like, okay, let's how can I work sort of methodically almost? How do I get to that goal? Okay, and I work backwards and I say, well, we're starting off in August. Um, right, I've got this, this block of time now that I just segregate down. Um, and when you break things down into manageable pieces, it seems a lot more, well, you can digest it a bit easier. I need to make sure that I've got the endurance because it's seven days, the days are long, um, lots of climbing. So I start off and I do my big endurance block. That really lays the foundation, lays the foundation for all those, those training sessions which come afterwards, the more high intense sessions. And then naturally as the spring comes, motivation just takes a, a, big, a big upward trajectory and you think, yeah, great. Personally me, I, I never train for an event up to the full capacity, so I'm not going out going, right, I've got a seven day event. I'm gonna to have to ride seven days back to back. I've gotta do the same mileage. I've gotta try and find the right amount of elevation. You know, I've gotta take a week off work and I've gotta do this. Never works like that. No one has the time in the day. Everyone's time crunch nowadays. And what gets you through on the day is, is, is the camaraderie, it's the adrenaline, it's just being there. It's just having no other focus and no other thought in your head apart from, apart from riding those climbs, apart from getting to the finish. It's a huge challenge and, and you do have to be prepared for it. You have to train, you have to be fit, you have to select your equipment carefully. But the, the beauty is that it's doable what initially seemed impossible. You know, can you ride the whole route, the highest and the toughest? Absolutely. That's a goal which I really like, that fulfillment of like trying to achieve something you, you thought might not be possible. I mean, life's not easy, that's the thing. It's like, not the old route, but you put the work in and you get the reward.